Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. So today I wanted to talk about, uh, well, how I'm not going to be using the screws that came with these 280 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate cells and instead I'm actually going to be uh, putting in some set screws that will basically act as studs and I just wanted to show you what my process was and um, you know what I was using to do that. This is just sort of what I'm trying for now uh, and, and the main reason is so just looking at the screws that came with these cells these just aren't very amp uh, ample uh, screws right I, I wouldn't trust these to to hold um, yeah these are just a sort of standard Phillips head and yeah I don't I don't trust them to, to sort of stand up to the rigors of a road vehicle these cells did come with uh, you know fairly nice bus bars these are these are actually copper bus bars and they're nickel plated um, but uh, you know again they're there I measured these out there one twelfth of an inch thick which I don't know exactly what that that equates out to in uh, in metrics um, but but yeah so th these are pretty th pretty thick robust um, and they're they're nickel coated copper bus bars uh, and these particular ones I believe are like three inches long but these are sort of the standard length bus bars where you would fit cell to cell um, you know side by side they will not fit um, end to end or if you did like a, an end to, to side they they wouldn't fit that length it's it's really only um, flat side to flat side that they fit uh, so this is just sort of the standard bus bar but even at 1 12th of an inch thick these screws just don't offer uh, that much uh, grip um, and especially if you're going to do like sense leads or some other terminal lead um, yeah like I said just all in all um, even if I were to use these standard bus bars uh, which can sustain 280 amps but I, I don't feel like they're that robust um, I wouldn't want to use these screws and you know these these will even come with actually with washers so once you once you take into account the sense lead the washer um, you really don't have a whole lot gripping uh, this bus bar onto the terminal uh, so I'm going to go with a slightly different solution so instead of the uh, that uh, M6 Phillips head. I'm going to go with this hex head uh, set screw. These are these are 16 millimeter, I believe. Which you know, I want to limit um, the overall height of the cell just for clearance issues inside the battery case. And about six millimeters of this is going to be in the terminal, leaving about a 10 millimeter stud coming out of the top. Uh, which should give me enough thread uh, while still leaving me enough clearance and then in addition to these set screws I'm using these M6 uh, locking washers so that uh, when I lock everything down uh, it will actually grip so these are these are sort of the um, anti back off uh, locking mechanism so it will lock down onto onto the washer onto the set screw um, and then I'll have the the sense lead the battery sense leads the bus bars or terminals all locked down this way so uh, what I have to do now is take these stainless steel set screws and and then insert them into the the, the terminal posts and that's that's what I'm going to use uh, in addition, I'm, I'm using uh, a thread locker. Uh, this is just Loctite Purple. Uh, I don't want to use blue. I know people just default to blue a lot, but that's actually for much larger uh, screws and ones that you want to, um, you know, torque down to the point. Well, beyond the torque limits that I would want to use um, on these terminal threads, uh, so this should be enough to, to keep the set screws in place but not lock them down so tight that I can't um, basically extract them again afterwards. So, uh, so this is purple. This is the basically the lightest strength 
um, thread locker that you can get. So I actually don't apply that much uh, thread locker. Um, you know, just you see just a little bit coming out, just the tip, just the tip, um, so that I basically just put a little bit of a line um, down the side of the, the threads, uh, just enough to basically give it something to uh, hold on to, uh, and then lock into the terminal. And then I'm just going to, to hand tighten it in. And these uh, set screws use a, I believe it's a 3.5 uh, millimeter Allen wrench. And I've just been sort of tightening them down uh, finger tight. Nothing, nothing too hard. I don't want to over torque these into, uh, into the terminal. Uh, you know, I really probably should be using a torque wrench for this. Um, because I think these are measured in inch pounds, uh, but I have a pretty good feel um, for these sorts of things. So, I mean, best practice, I would recommend using a torque wrench, but uh, for me, I'm just basically locking these down um, and I'm doing a little bit by feel just to uh, basically come that I'm comfortable with uh, the amount of torque that's being pushed on them. And I'm not that concerned about um, if I get anything on the surface of these terminals just yet because I will be uh, buffing around the surface of here eventually. Um, but uh, but yeah, so just just a little finger finger tight, um, and then just with the lock tight in place, uh, it should keep everything um, held on held on well. And one last thing I wanted to note about why I um, like doing these studs this way. One thing I found about these bus bars is, which is very unfortunate, they are actually long enough to short out the battery. Um, so basically, um, if, you're, if you're screwing them down and you're trying to unscrew them, a lot of times they can actually spin and torque around. When you have these two studs in place though, it makes it really, really hard to, to move. Uh, so you have a pretty good, uh, a pretty good control over it. So, um, I actually do like that because you can short out these, these batteries directly in this way. Uh, so you have to be very careful with this length of a bus bar. Uh, but I found that these really help when stacking batteries, uh, in, in parallel or in series, uh, because you can secure them. Uh, with with these uh, terminal studs and then you can lock everything down and you don't have to worry about the bus bar flipping around or, or touching the other terminal uh, while you're torquing one side down. Uh, so that's one more reason I actually really like these studs. Um, but anyway, that's about it. I'm just going to finish up. I only have a, about a hundred more to go. So uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was informative. Let me know what you think. Again, uh, sort of these first person videos where I actually uh, show the battery as I'm working on it. Um, you know, the tools I, I use, um, the techniques I'm using, uh, sort of giving you an idea of my, my mindset and my strategy. Let me know what your preferred method is, whether you like set screws, uh, you do something else to, to put studs in, or if you just prefer to buy the batteries with the studs. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and uh, thank you for watching.